we are a democracy. Democracy in its meaning says rule by the people. And I am one of those who believes that the most important words of the Constitution are the first words, we the people. It's so basic uh, that we just come to take it for granted. For the framers and those who voted on ratification and just ordinary people, those words, we the people, I still think uh, are the ones that resonate the greatest. Because the idea that the people govern themselves while commonplace today was not commonplace at the time. It was a tremendous innovation. Prior to that time, sovereignty rested in the king. Americans prior to the revolution, many of them during the revolution, didn't identify themselves as Americans first and foremost. They said, we are British. That's in the moment of the 1760s and early 70s. And only 10 or 20 years later, people have this notion that sovereignty belongs in the people. That is a tremendous innovation and a tremendous transformation. So American democracy is this notion that whatever else happens, power may shift to this branch or that branch or what have you. The people themselves have the sovereignty. Now that then leaves open all these questions for debate. How do they exert that sovereignty? Is it through Congress? Is it through state legislatures? Is it through the courts? Is it in the president? The sovereignty rests in the people. And their spokesman happens to be the president, which is different from this notion of the king. So however democracy has played out in all these tensions, the idea that sovereignty lies in the people has been consistent. What has happened, of course, over the years and for various reasons, is a tremendous cynicism has crept in where while we believe in the abstract, in the Constitution's ideal that the people themselves rule, people have come to believe that somehow they've lost that power. And that cynicism is well placed, it belongs, and we need to ask ourselves what happened and how can we once again believe that the people themselves rule. But American democracy is founded on that basic principle. And that principle more than any others is what carries forward and what remains, I think, a model for other countries who try to imitate uh, American democracy.